Hello, everyone, and uh, welcome to another episode of Crazy Questers. Uh, we're running into some small technical difficulties, so you might not see this till tomorrow. But in the meantime, we're just going to play through because there's only so much we can do. <laughs> so before we get on stream, I offered the players a chance to roll to decide the new shape of their broken and missing in action uh, druid, druid teammate. After rolling a 2 and then a 4, they watched their panther turn from a or turn from a panther into a baboon for a second. And then right after it was a baboon, it turned into, just let me get the token up here. I said just let me get the token up here. There it is. She turned into a blink dog. The hell is that? Nice. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> so, the streamers can see this blink dog, and I will look it up on D&D Beyond so I can post it to the chat for you guys. Yeah, it, it's uh, um, a blink yep. dog uh, can teleport, isn't it, right? Yes. Limited yeah. teleportation. But for some reason, in the monster manual here, it is listed as a beast, so it counts. Although on D&D Beyond, it says it's a fae, so uh, I'm not going to correct it. <laughs> I that, like it. I was about to say, I'll take the hard copy and uh, roll with that. Yep. So Sounds good. Without... It's our blink dog, thank you very much. Yes. Yeah, I was about to say, like you guys have a blink dog. I wouldn't, I wouldn't complain too much about that. Now we call it Sparks. <laughs> Just keep changing this person's Sparky. name. <laughs> or Blippy. See, it was Nox, so it's only fair that it's Lumos. Why would it be Lumos? I don't know. That doesn't make sense. What's their teleportation like? Um, Where they, they apparate? Oh, I forget what the spell's called. Is it just called Blink? Because I'm pretty sure there's a there's a teleport spell called Blink. No, she's talking Harry Potter. Oh, okay. It's Evanesco. Yeah, we're not calling it Evanesco. <laughs> so it's Spanish. <laughs> Evanesco. <laughs> All right. So I killed, I killed your father. father. Um, somebody first person to roll it, roll a d twenty. Uh, oh man, I. We'll call it, we'll call it Cerberus, but it's just obviously they're gonna have three heads. <laughs> well, well, I mean, I mean, look at the look at the, look at the picture of the thing. Like, I can see yeah. Like, what I mean, where? It kind of looks it's, it's weird because it's supposed to be a lawful good creature, but it's like it looks the evil. Icon on roll twenty, Benjamin. Oh shit. I am on roll 20. It wasn't there. That's dope. That's pretty crazy. You know what? It looks like evil Scooby-Doo. We're not calling it Scooby-Doo. <laughs> Scoob! Like Scoob! Like Scoob! Pizza the Scooby snack! Just call it Blink. Alright. So, the first person to roll a d20 rolled a 15. The last time I had you guys roll for a random encounter by just rolling through the creatures of the, uh, or rolling through the different, like, randoms that I have on here, you ended up with Azers. Yes, yes, we did. We, we kept some of their heads. Mm -hmm. Ooh, creepy. All right, let's roll with it. Ouch! Oh, oh, you're too young to sit down and hurt your back. Oh, no, I hit my knee on the, the deck. Oh, okay. There it is. Good. Okay, we're going to zoom out. So. Yes. 
Whoa, this thing has vision too. Weird. All right. Doop doodly do. Doot. All right. Sorry, just uh, verifying all the details here. How, How much, much trouble, trouble did I put us in? We all. You ever seen those uh, those worms off the internet, the bobbit worms? The what? Okay, good. You have no idea, and that's fantastic. <clears throat> so, this is gonna make that maze. Uh, that I made you guys go through with the violet fungus look like a walk in the park. Fuck you, Justin. <laughs> this is why you let me roll these things. Hey, I actually <laughs> rolled good. I rolled a three. Can, Can we, we take, take that, that one? one? Uh, Do we want to talk about how the three of you are the only ones who ever get to roll again? He said first person! Yep. Okay. The rest of us all just hover over our d20s. That's right. That's right. Well, like um, so if, if I took the three, up. you guys would fight what's called a Bahir, and I'll just let you look that up so you know what it is. Bahir? A Bahir. B-E-H-I-R. At your level, it'd be one of those uh, video game encounters where you run for your life hoping it doesn't catch you. Anywho, okay, this thing, da da da. Haha, <laughs> there, perfect. Okay, I now have a description to work with. As you walk along the path and you've witnessed, you know, Knox turn into, uh, turn into Nanners the Nanners the baboon, and then turn into what are we calling her? Blink. 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 Turn into Blink the Blink Dog. <clears throat> you all start walking along the road, making your way down the path ever so down casually. Down. Walking fast. <laughs> and you begin to see, first of all, you see the remains of the... Uh, of, you know, the, uh, the Azer shards that were lying around after you guys left. This same path. But also, for the sake of, uh, you know, what do you call it? Um, imagery. You also see tons, and I mean tons, of corpses. Are we supposed to be seeing anything on the bottom? No, no. To put enough corpses to make this look right would be uh, absurd. So I'm just going to lay down a couple, and you're just going to use your imaginations. The grass is now a corpse. They're all corpses. All of them. It's not grass. Dead Spies. commoner. Dead commoner. Dead cultist. Dead cultist. Oh, I did all Murder deer. I said murder deer. Deer, yes. Yep. Did you uh, try to get some venison? A completely eviscerated, like chest ripped open druid. Yikes. Yes. I want it to be graphic. Yeah. Several dead goats. Goats? All right. I think there should be enough corpses. Anyway. <laughs> so. You guys, everyone should roll for perception. Dirty 20. Nice. Alright. And of course, Blink Dog will roll for wisdom. Oh wait, 20. he gets a plus three to perception. What the hell? Oh. Oh, there we go. There's Blink Dog's perception. Okay, so, we got 20 on Luzeros, 22 on Leaf, 19 on Gurukir, and everyone else is too low, except for Blink. So, Blink does the dog thing, and 
points at this Wait. general area over here. Gurukir, Leaf, and Luzeros, you're all noticing a sort of shifting in the ground. The ground is moving, guys. And it looks, what's grosser is some of the corpses seem to be like slowly moving into the ground. Like sinking? Or like... So something's like coming up from the ground and grabbing you, I feel? Roll for investigation. Roll for what? Roll for investigation. The the people who pass the perception check roll for investigation. That's not me. Sixteen. And I will give Blink an investigation, but let's get real. It's it's a dog. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, all right, so Leaf, you're the only one that notices. Uh, something is definitely, like, it's not even that it's just pulling it under. Something is crawling around on top of this thing, and then, like, slowly keeps diving back into the ground, and then coming back up, and then diving back down, and it seems to be chewing on the corpse. This corpse. I, I don't see anything. I, I see a black screen. Oh my god. Okay. I, I did it. mention I didn't see anything. No, I know, but I thought I fixed it. <laughs> <laughs> That's there's where the confusion lies. I was pretty sure I fixed it. Save. How about now? Now I see something. Okay. So you okay. said this corpse over here. Okay. Um. Hey guys. I, I think something's over there disturbing these things, and I want to, um, I kind of want to tiptoe up ready, ready for anything. Okay. Stealth. All right, go ahead and roll for stealth. So 16, yeah, so the thing, whatever it is, does not seem to uh, be disturbed by your walking, so go ahead and walk. Oh, that, why is my screen moving? No, my screen is moving around too. What in the world? Oh, your screen's moving instead of your character? Right. <laughs> <clears throat> Why are we having issues today? There, we, there go. we go. That would be perfect. Okay. Because it's our group. <laughs> Alright, do you want to get any closer? Yeah, let's get right up in there. Uh, perfect. Weapons ready. How big is this rock right here, Derek? Uh, it's roughly the size of this creature. Oh, well, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Uh, it's about like, um, how did you yeah, I was that? imagining something much smaller. Nope. So what you were seeing and is now moving because you stepped on it, uh, on the ground where it was under is a carrion crawler. I'm going to just move so I can see, get a better look at him. That's fucking creepy. Okay. Oh yeah. Wait a minute. Didn't we fight one? Of, didn't I fight one of those when we were doing the, uh, uh, oh shoot, what was that campaign? It's making Boss me think of When I was running, there, there, like there was like a cave, and like this was like hanging up on the ceiling. I know what you're talking about, I don't know if it's the same thing. Here, here's a nice pretty anyway. picture of it. I feel like it was that. I feel like that's yeah, what no, I, think I, think looks familiar. Similar. I don't know if that's the same thing though. And uh, with the fact that you I stepped on it, idiots. with the fact that you stepped on it, I'm gonna need you to roll for investigation or not investigation. Uh, for uh, blah, blah, blah. what is the word? Initiative. That's the word. All of us are just dead. The all of you. Yes. Okay. 
Click on your token. Your icon first. Yeah, make sure you click yeah. your tokens. I didn't, of course. He's just ready to get started. He's ready to rock. Uh, do you want me re-roll or just punch him anyway? Uh, oh, he went. Never mind. Just, yeah, you're in there. All right. Boom shakalaka. 21, Justin. I That's Kyle. Oh. Was that I got a 12. Your thumbnails look so close together. I know. And why do you not have a decimal modifier, Kyle? It's weird. Uh... I don't know. You never turned it on. Turn it turn off, on. Yeah. What the hell? Well, it's okay. It's a twenty-one. I think it'll be okay. I think we can discern who's in, who's going first. <laughs> Not me. <laughs> oh, whoops! Missed one. There we go. So, from the evidence, you do notice that there was clearly a battle here. And things did not go in the favor of really anybody. It seems as though this thing probably interrupted a fight or an escape of some kind between the cultists and the other people and some random animals and decided to just start attacking whoever was here. With that in mind, Luzeros, you're up. Cool, cool. Um, start with some movement. 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. We'll stop there and start with move. And we're just going to throw a couple of darts at this dude and uh, hopefully uh, hopefully do something good. All right. Uh, number one and two. Uh, yeah, I'm that was good. 24 and 22 hit. Yeah, yeah, you'd be, you'd be uh, correct. Eight and eight. Dang, you need 88 damage? Yeah, I wish. <laughs> oh, one shot. Yeah, I was about to say, that'd be a one shot on pretty much every creature I have available to me. I'd have to start homebrewing some real <laughs> sick monsters. <laughs> he just draws a one in front. <laughs> 188, ha! <huh? laughs> Eat that. <laughs> Uh, that'll, that'll be my turn, too. Alright. Uh, with that, everyone roll for perception. I don't see Open shit. Up my snack and fall the nose on my elbow. You're changing my dice. This is stupid. Ooh, ooh, ha. Alright. shock, Leaf. And that's it. You very obviously. Oh, I'm gonna start rolling for blink, also. Like initiative, so that I don't have to remember which one of you is controlling her. I'm just gonna make you guys tell me what she's doing. Okay, that's fair. Uh, so, yeah, Arshak and Leaf. That's it. You both feel the ground begin to shake from other directions. Right, kind of um, go ahead and roll for investigation to do a more thorough sweep. Investigation. <clears throat> no. So, neither of you really has a good grasp on the direction, but there's definitely something moving forward. So just from a different direction than this one. Yeah. So this is... Okay. You've come to the conclusion that most likely this is not the only one here. Fine. Yeah, this works. Unless it been one of the greatest encounters yet. All right. So. Hey, boy, he's all of us. Say what? I'm just complaining to me because, you know, the few of us that we wanted to, to, to see if we were going to have random encounters. 
Didn't Jess want a random encounter too? I heard Nope, mixed just the greenest. <laughs> I heard Kyle and I heard Justin. I that's the ones I remember off the top of my head. I don't believe I said anything. Those are the only ones I remember hearing also. Alright. That was two out of six. <laughs> I was going to make you guys do it if one of you said it, so. <laughs> All right. Continuing. Shalana, it's your turn. Okay. <clears throat> Is that... Bin right underneath that stupid thing. Yes. Right here. Technically, technically, yeah. Yeah, that's me. That's so if I do Eldritch Blast, it's gonna hit him. It's not an area of attack. That's the target. Yeah. Isn't yeah. it a straight line? It's, it's not like lightning bolt or anything like that. Okay. Well, then that's what I'm gonna do then. Fine. But technically, Derek has a final say. So, but I mean, <laughs> uh, Eldritch Blast chooses a the target. If it says in a straight line, everyone does like a save or everyone takes damage, I'll, you know, that's straight line. But if it just says a target, okay, then unless you crit fail, you're, you're only going to hit, you know, yeah, you're only going to hit well, the What's creature. the size difference between that creature and a gnome? Pretty significant. Um, let me get an exact, let's see, gnomes are considered like, medium to small. A lot larger than a gnome. So yeah. it probably should be fine. Gnomes are considered medium to small. This is considered a large monstrosity. So, so this is something that uh, my made-up druid class or subclass could become later. Okay, so um, first I'm going to move. 5, 10, 15, 15. <clears throat> Right here. And then I'm going to start out by using my bonus action to cast Hexblade's Curse on that creature. Okay. And then I am going to cast Eldritch Blast. I just realized I'm so hot. I am so hot. Does a 16 hit? Uh, yes, it does. Awesome sauce. Okay. So I might have a chance of hitting it. So that should be 14. Yep, because you fire two of them at this level. Um, yeah. Did I get, is there a bonus to it with the curse? I don't remember. Uh, yeah, make sure you don't go against the cursed target, it also equals your proficiency bonus. Okay. So it's plus three. So okay. So it didn't it. automatically put that on? Yeah, no, it didn't. No. So do I get plus three to each of them? I'm going to go with yes. So then that's uh, 14 20. plus six, 20 damage. 20 total. Woo! All right. And that ends my turn. Okay. Um. Everyone roll perception. Much better. It was good until it rolled over. Right. I almost had 18. I almost had 17. <laughs> <laughs> So, this is the fun one because it's a super low roll needed. Uh, every single one of you feel this earth-shattering movement under the ground. Where's it coming like that? Who had Taco Bell? Sorry. And with that, Leaf, your turn. Um, I'm trying to decide. 
We might want to move out of its space first. <laughs> just, just a thought. Just, just, just a thought. thought. You know. Okay. Good point. Good point. Uh, we're gonna scoot right over here. And you know what? For shits and giggles. And we're gonna bring out a classic. And we're gonna cast. Anyway. Oh, good God. <laughs> I knew the second you said classic, it was going to be Thunder Wave or Shatter. Wow. So, um... Deck save for this thing. Wow. All right. As you hit this thing with a Thunder Wave... You seem to have enough force to rip it out of the ground as it falls back and dies. Well, that wasn't too bad. Weak. Only took, what, like 40 damage? Plus or minus. Gurik here, your turn. Yeah, he did 16. Uh, first, I'm going to fly up about 10 feet. Well, actually, we're outside. I can fly up higher. But also say about 10, 15 feet off the ground. And at the moment, I don't see anything else. Mm -hmm. But 1, 2, 3, 4, 16, 25, 16. Six. I'll fly up over here, and I am going to ready a crossbow shot okay. if I see something come up in my view and range that I can attack. Okay. It's about all I can do because I don't see anything, so. Yep. Alright. So with that. Where's this one? Okay. Wait over here. Uh yeah, what is Blink's movement speed? Blink's movement speed is 40. Oh, yeah, he's 18. He makes both of us no problem. Oh, well, I was thinking about putting him up on this rock. Is that regular movement or teleport? If it's not a very big rock, we just put it up there. It's so like it's about the size of your star. Okay. Well, can, can Blink go up there? Ten and just wait yes. for if she sees anything? Okay, yeah. So we're going to put Blink on top of the rock and just have her ready her action for if anything goes down. All right. So she just goes running past you and hops up on the rock looking for something. And if we're having her be observant, I'm going to do a perception. It was terrible. So. She sees nothing. She sees nothing. So with that, Elia, you're up. Okay. Uh, I'm just gonna move here. I can't see anything, so I can't really do anything. All right. That's all right. Do you want to ready any sort of actions, or you just wanna? Uh, I'll ready my jab one. So. As you ready your javelin, you begin to feel the shaking directly beneath you. Run faster. <laughs> Do a dex save. Oh, no, I'm not going to get it. not top of Well, yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. And it was a dex save. So, oh, I'm double. <clears throat> With that deck save, you... 
Sorry. You failed and were struck by a tentacle as the impact of this thing leaving the ground, or, you know, exiting the earth, hits you for five poison damage. And can I shoot it since I had my action ready? Yes, you can. And you can also use your javelin that you had readied. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So that will hit. Mine. That Probably is a tie. Not. I have a tie. Yes. So as you get hit by a tentacle, you just huck this javelin down at the creature's face <clears throat> and pierce it in the general, you know, fleshy area. Not not hitting any vital spots like an eye or anything. Um, so Justin, this thing is, uh, in response to almost getting hit by your crossbow bolt, it seems to, like, as it deflects off of its face, it writhes around and moves towards you but of course it's unable to react because you're in the air okay let's go ahead and fire again oh just rolled off nat 20 still a hit so go ahead and roll for damage All right. All right. With that, Elia, I believe you're. Yeah, you ended your turn when the thing appeared, essentially. Uh, 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 uh blink. Oh yeah. Um. So yeah. So blink. Oh yeah. That's right. You guys did ready that. My bad. Mm -hmm. Um. So blink immediately jumps down and bites at the carrion crawler, doing three piercing damage. Do, do, do. There's Blank's XP. Okay. Alright. As you hear, as you feel another movement, you see another one appear directly next, directly behind Blank. I'm going to move Blink to the front so that she stays visible. And as the carrying crawler does that, Blink makes a deck save. Wow. So Blink is, uh, thanks to that immediate death save, essentially uses the, the, the burst of energy from this thing, you know, coming out to land herself back on top of the rock. And then it attempts to do a... Tentacle and a bite attack against Blink. The 20. Yep. Do. So the 20 will hit for. Oh, I made Sita. Or I made the seed that I'm going to have to control an actual character sheet, so. Don't worry, it's not. Her HP is not as low as an actual Blink dog. Okay. But needs con save. Do, do, do. There we go. Not great. All right. Unfortunately, um, Blink is poisoned. Mm. Let's go with that weird one. Looks like a heart. All right. So. Do, do, do. So this, this creature's poison is paralyzing, so the target can repeat the saving throw at the end of each of its turns, ending the poison on itself on a success. So basically, on Blink's turn, he'll be able to, or she'll be able to attempt to resist the poison, the paralyzing effect. Alright, continuing. Then the carrion crawler that burst out of the ground is now going to take its turn and attempt to tentacle and bite um, Ilya. 
Ilya, what's your AC? Uh, 19. Okay. Both miss. You use your shield and you use your shield effectively and completely block every single thing this thing tries to come at you with. And with that, it is Arshok's turn. No, I get to go. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, first oh, wait, I'm you, gonna catch. Uh, uh, you crit Mark failed, on. didn't you? What? Did you crit fail? No. Oh, okay, then never mind. You seem so excited, so I was like, oh, did I miss something? <laughs> no, I rolled a two. Oh, yeah, you oh, get to go. Then. <laughs> so close. Matt, uh, I'm gonna cast Hunter's Mark on the closest one to me. Okay. And uh, I'm gonna try and shoot it with my bow. All right. I'm assuming that's a hit. Oh uh, yeah, that's definitely a hit. All right, so eight plus, not plus the sneak attack, but plus the uh, hunter's mark. So first minus. Eight. Oh, there it is. Okay. I'm gonna go over here and climb on this rock. All right. And that's it. Oh, but did I interrupt somebody? No, you're good. Okay, I sound like Chris was about to start talking again. Um, let me see. Oh. Um, check. Why do I have a dot on me? Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing important. <laughs> You know what? Okay. I think we're being targeted. I think we are. Um, There's a dot on your forehead. I am going to move up here next to this, uh, I guess the one that more recently jumped out. Okay. Um, and I'm going to unarm strike it twice. All right. Well, that's a nat one. So you completely missed, and you actually hit one of its tentacles. So go ahead and just roll a con save. Uh, I would have gone a diff different route on that one. But... There we go. Holy crap. It rolled twice. Hold on. Yep. So the first one I'm seeing really is an 11. Slow. Yeah, first one's an 11. Yep. So that is a fail. So you will take three poison damage, and you are now paralyzed. All right. So I can't even do my second attack. Fantastic. Nope. All right. And then speaking of your... Well, speaking of that little dot, you guys might figure out my color coding system because I'm a little lazy when it comes to... You know, mm -hmm. hi hiding certain things. I'm guessing that you're about to pop up another one and have it target me. It, it might be of the same color. So it bursts out of the ground and immediately tries to tentacle you, and I'm guessing that hits for a 24. Yeah, it is. And then, okay, but the, so it attempts to tentacle you. Oh, yeah, you're stunned. What am I doing? I get advantage. Eh, still missed. Okay. First one hits for three more poison damage. The second one misses, so it tries to bite you. Okay. Um, with that... Alright. Shalana, you're up. Okay.
I suppose that I am going to attack the one in front of me with my morning star. Okay. That is a hit. Nice. So this thing rears its mouth at you and you just, you know, anime style bash its face away from you. And anything else? Nope, I think I'm good. Alright. Oh, well, no. Okay, no, I'm good. I'm not going to move because I'm going to risk the opportunity to move. Alright. So, again, you guys feel the earth shattering movement as something, you know, either a ton of these things or, you know, something else is moving its way around under the earth. It's all your fault, Kyle. <laughs> you can blame Justin for the creatures. <laughs> I don't know. I looked up that Bahir. Oh yeah, I looked it up too. Yeah, no, that was that was absolutely a run for your lives. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I, I was like, we wouldn't have stood a chance. It looks like a lizard weasel, and then it says it's huge monstrosity, and I went, oh fuck. Did you look at its attacks? No. I didn't even look at the attacks. I saw his armor. No, I just I just saw a picture and huge monstrosity, and I was just like, oh, fuck no. Yeah. Why is there a very large, uh, like, very, very, very large? Whoa. Line? So the bummer is that is not what I meant to do. I clicked on the wrong one. But I guess the <laughs> cat's out of the bag now, so, uh, yeah. Haha. <laughs> 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 As, one of, as a very what? small one, or a normal-sized one, moves towards and hops out of the ground to attempt to tentacle and bite Leaf. Which, Leaf, what's your AC? My AC is 14. Okay. Uh, so, go ahead and roll a constitution saving throw. You will take 5 poison damage. This will decide whether or not you're paralyzed. Yeah, so you are now paralyzed. I should give I should give you guys little little tokens just like uh just like blink. Okay. So I guess cats out of the bag, um as a horrifying earthquake ruptures the area around you, this monstrosity is the apt name for it. This gigantic version of the thing that you are things that you are fighting bursts out of the ground swallowing up three of the corpses as it kind of pokes around looking for prey and that's when it notices live victims and leaf go ahead and roll the constitution saving throw You are free of the paralyzing. Now, let me double check this. Ah, you can take that saving throw at the end of your turn, according to the according to the description of the carrying crawler, which means you don't get to take your turn, but at least you're not stunned anymore. So, if Fine. you have any reactions, at least you have that available. Gurik here, you're up. Um, I think first I'm going to end up flying up to about 50 feet okay to try to help make sure nothing can hit me fair and then um, the one right here just top left of me yep. yeah what color is that one uh that would be green Am I, is the orange one the giant one then? No, me? no, 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 no. Okay. 
The orange one is still under the ground somewhere. Uh, um, at the one right above me that's green, I'm going to try casting a chromatic orb. Okay. Of acid. Okay. That will hit. Go ahead and roll for damage. Nope, not gonna work on roll playing. Duh. I swear there was a point where all this stuff worked really smooth. What the hell? Well, my computer's running at like 98%, so. Oh, that's fair. Wow! That's some good damage. Yeah, okay. So, uh, yeah, you well, just Well, the max it. of 40, so... <laughs> yes, you just, like, you know, blasted this thing with a huge ball of acid. As it, like, you know, attempted to bite Roscoe, it reeled back, and then as it got ready to do something else, it just got hit in the face with actual acid. Leave. Roscoe's dead. Damn it. <laughs> I'm gonna keep screwing it up for a while here, so Yeah, yeah, I'm not sure. <laughs> Alright, so um Roscoe, who's that? An old friend. <laughs> an old old friend. Alright, so uh anything else, Gurk here? Uh The only thing that I can think that I might be able to do is if anyone wanted to be up in the air, off the ground, trying to find where my spell or float, my floating disc fell, I can cast that and someone can be lifted into the air. I mean... Yeah, you guys need to discuss that amongst yourselves. Uh, kind of decide yeah. that one. Well, actually, I can't even do that this round. That would be next round I could. Oh, okay. All right, well, someone who's so, range-oriented no, discuss with Gorik here. <laughs> so, look at this Chris. is very far enough back. Right. The flying dragonborn archer. A sweet hoverboard. Anyway. All right, so um, you guys notice uh, one of the corpses gets devoured into the ground over there, and then Blink will now roll to not be stunned anymore. Nope, still stunned. Elia, you're up. Okay. Go here and throw my javelin at this guy. Alright, um first I'm gonna need you to Well, just hang on. So the uh, carrying crawler that you were essentially on top of is going to attempt a attack of opportunity. It is going to hit, you're gonna take five poison damage. And I'm gonna need you to roll a con save. Uh, so unfortunately you did not get that far you uh you stepped off of him essentially or out of his space and then were immediately poisoned and are now stunned okay all right so uh the two carrying crawlers here are both going to attack this one here is actually going to attack blink one tentacle, one bite. Oh wow. So the tentacle is going to take is going to smack blink for ten damage. And then the bite, what is C does AC? Good enough to avoid getting hit. So uh, the bite does not even though he's stunned, the bite does not quite break through. This one that just poisoned Elia is now going to attempt to hit. Uh, 
So, Ilya, you're going to take four more poison damage. And you said your AC was 19 or 17? 19. I thought it was 19. Okay. The, the bite misses you. Barely. With that, Arshak, you're up. Uh, I am going to... I'm going to shoot an arrow at the big guy. Okay. <laughs> Let's see how high this AC is. Oh yeah, that's fair. Let's see if I can actually roll in there. I think I hit. <laughs> so, what's funny is this thing's AC is probably the only thing that is the same as the originals. So, yeah, that's a hit. Sweet. Let's go ahead and roll for damage. Yep, there it is. Minus 13. 12. Oh, 12, right. Yeah, just 12. Whoops. Okay, let me fix this. There we go. All right. And our shot did 12 to that thing. There we go. Okay. Anything else? Uh, that's really all I can do right now, I think. All right. And... Well, actually, sorry. That one doesn't get to move that far. You guys notice another corpse disappear under the ground. And... Yeah, you stay still. Yep. Lose arrows, you're up. Go ahead and roll that con save. Ah, I think I succeeded. Yes. Yes, you did. Like I said, though... Uh, uh, it's the end of the yep. turn. Yeah, end of the turn, really so... No. You do have your reactions, though, so that's nice. That is good. All right, so the carrion crawler that is actually coming for Luzeros is going to attempt to tentacle and bite him again. Wow, that's the first low roll I, uh, I've i done with tentacle. Um, yep, that definitely misses. Both those miss. So the moment you became unstunned, you immediately became very agile and avoided getting attacked a lot. Fantastic. And then... Oh my lord. One pops up behind Shalana and attempts, or Shalana and Elia, and attempts to attack Shalana. Sorry, I have to roll with advantage because flanking. Um, so the, the tentacle definitely hits seven poison damage. I'm gonna need Shalana to roll a con save. One second. I'm rolling a con save? Yes. And your AC is higher than 13, right? Yes. Yeah, okay, so you don't have to worry about the other thing. So, you do take the 7 damage, but you are not poisoned. You resist and are able to ignore the uh, stunning effect. How much damage? 7. Mm -hmm. Alright. With that, it is Shalana's turn. Don't worry, guys. Never forget, I allow a certain amount of savior characters to appear in a campaign. Um, I have a quick question. Yes. My morning star is like my packed weapon, so. I don't have like all of the properties for it on here, but is it a one-handed weapon? Morning star. So if I have the two weapon fighting, I can use it and something else. Uh, I think the big thing would be that's, if yeah, that's, like, something, that's something you have to specifically ask him because it is her pack weapon, so it's something that she created. Right. So I'm just gonna verify. So, so if it's your packed weapon, something you created. Blah, 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 blah. So Morningstar is a tech is technically a one-handed weapon. It's not a two-handed weapon. So let me verify the packed. What's that called? Like packed of the blade. Um. Yeah. Or, uh, 
It's a warlock thing, right? Like, dang, yeah. I don't know why I'm saying that. I don't have any warlock restrictions. Thing. I don't know why I'm trying to search it. I have the book. Do you have any restrictions such as the light melee? Uh, it says, I choose its form, I'm proficient with it, and it counts as magical. Basically, what she's trying to figure out is she wants to be able to hold, use that morning star in one hand and then, like, a dagger in the other hand. And be able to right. Both, right. Well, so, like, like my two-handed fighting, for example, says they have to be light melee weapons. That's what she's trying to figure out because her like morning star is something that she just created. Yeah. So it's not so, like it's like a legit morning star. So no, you cannot use that as a, a light weapon. When you create it, it, a it, physical it, thing or like a magical thing? It's physical, but it <laughs> like has magical properties. So like, if something is resistant to non-magical damage, that would that would give it magical damage, meaning that the creature is not resistant to it. But in the case of whether or not you can like dual wield with it, uh, in this case, I'm gonna say no. Okay. Um. In that case, um, I'm gonna do. My Eldritch Blast Tiki, but I'm gonna do one on each of the dudes that are next to me. So, like, one on each side. Okay. That's pretty uh, sweet, Matrix style, just bam. Yeah. That's the plan. Yeah. Alright. Those hit. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see the damage. All right, and then so um, you killed the one that was your hexblade target, so, so that bonus doesn't apply here. Mm -mm. Okay, so we're just just the normal. It's just the seven. Yep. Yeah. That's fine. So the one on the right, the one that is uh, seems to be staring down uh, Ilya pretty aggressively is uh looking pretty rough like like it it's definitely like on its last leg so okay continuing anything else um Yeah, I know. I couldn't remember what this one was. No, we'll just leave that for later. Um, yeah, I'm done. Okay. So I'm just gonna tell you guys, it's gonna. I'm gonna roll these like normal, but this creature is going to be given a plus four to pretty much any roll because of its sheer size, and then on top of that, it's going to be uh, doing double damage. And as the closest targets to it are Gurik here and Leaf, it's going to take one step closer. I'm going to move it over here just for the sake of not blocking this one. Uh, it's going to get one step closer and attempt to tentacle Leaf. Leaf, what's your AC? 14. Wow. Okay. It's a tie, so you go ahead and try to defend yourself from the tentacle the size of a tree. <laughs> like with an attack or what <laughs> whatever you want you tell me what you want to do and I will tell you you want to just attack just attack if you want to like do something crazy you tell me and I'll tell you what to roll uh you know I want to you know dip dodge and duck man um <laughs> well turning bit or I got I got I guess I can <clears throat> So, yeah, uh, yeah. Honestly, I, I just want to try to get out the way. All right, go ahead and do a deck save then. What are you? Yes, you do a sweet like back handspring as this tentacle just hits the ground, and ooh. That'll be fun. That'll be a fun, like, boss fight mechanic. Let's do that. I'm gonna draw a line. Nope, that's a circle. 
I do not like the draw tools on here. Hang on. There we go. And green. Sure, red and green. Why the fuck not? So, that tentacle is now right there. Everyone who is within range of it will not get hurt, or is not within range of being attacked, but you can hit it if it's your turn. Like when the monsters in video games swing and get their arms stuck, that's what this is. Interesting. Quirky, little, cool. quirky little additive I just, I just thought of. Anyway. Cool. So, uh, with that, also I'm going to give... Where is he? Where is he? There he is. Okay. Alright. There we go. Continuing. The carrying crawler that is actually after Roscoe uh, attempts to crawl over this giant tentacle, but because of that, will be attacking with disadvantage. So it does its multi attack. Uh, your AC was 14, right? Yes. Okay, so the first one is a hit. Go ahead and roll a con save. You resist the stun and only take the three poison damage. And on top of that, you uh, avoid getting bit as well. Cool. And then it's Leaf's turn. Yay. All right. Since I've had a good minute to start looking around what the heck I want to do, um... Here, first I'm going to display. I'm okay. going to call lightning. Uh, Alright. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, that's, a, that's a good one. That's what so, nearly killed me and Kyle. If, if I'm understanding this right, the calling of the spell is really just the cloud? Yeah. So, but um, it lasts for up to ten minutes, so I have to use my action to actually shoot lightning but I'm not actually doing the spell over and over and over right it's essentially like a it's essentially like having it's it's like loading a gun it's like hey for my one spell action I'm gonna load this shotgun and fire 12 shells mm -hmm. over a period of time <laughs> right so yeah yeah so, so, that's so every action I had you know it's like pulling the trigger but yeah it's not actually casting the spell again so it doesn't Correct. use up all these spell slots all right yeah, that's what I thought. So, I'm going to cast that guy over our heads. So, this thing is a cylinder that is 60 feet. So, I'm going to make a... Just let me get my measuring tool out, because I'm going to make a little circle, an empty circle. Where are you centering it? Um. Well, it, it giant circle, I guess, right around, right above me would probably still encompass everyone. Okay, right. then 30 feet out from you is where I will make this thing go. Yeah, that's, that, that'll, that I mean, I don't know. unless there's still a few under the ground, I'm going to assume <laughs> roughly. That should do it. All right, so from the top of this guy to just below that group of people. That's how I'm going to make the circle. All right. Do, 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 drawing. I hate drawing in here, but here we go. And if I have to adjust this a little, I will. But I think it looks pretty clear-cut. I think it'd be over a little more over yeah. the other these guys. But yeah, yep. size-wise, I think you're about right. That's about as centered as it's going to get. Cool. Oh, wait, actually, no, 30 feet from you. So actually, we're going to go boom, and then boom. Yeah, six, six squares. Yep, that's exactly what I realized. Like, we're just short a little bit. So one, two, three, four. Okay, that thing is now exactly as big as it's supposed to be. Cool. And now it is. Anyway. All right. All right. So. You so just I cast hit, call lightning. I hit the cast button and it rolled. Um, just because I wanted to hit the spell slot. Uh, you need to make. Was it a dex DC save? 15. Yep. Dex save. 15 dex save. Yeah, that's a. Uh... That's a 10, so... 
so we're going to hit the big bad. Yep, for 26 damage. Okay. Let me put that into your uh, XP. Yep, there you go. Okay. All right, anything else? Um, for a bonus action, I am going to cast uh, Shillelagh. Okay. Um, so here <clears throat> we display that. Oh, yeah. Um, that just kind of bumps up my quarterstaff. Oh, okay. Um, I can't attack because, obviously, my spell is my action. You essentially um, just grew a knot of wood on the end of your quarterstaff for extra right. damage. So I'm prepping myself, yes. Yep, totally fair. All right, and then I think I'm good. All right, Gurik here, you're up. I'm going to cast two sorcery points so I can cast two spells. Okay. Um, first one, I'm attacking the green one again. Okay. I'm going to drop another... Or, yeah, drop another acid chromatic orb on top of it. All right. All right, let's see if this hits. Yep, that'll hit. Go ahead and roll damage. Yep. You can find me with magic. I know. It's it's a Christmas miracle. Not July. I heard of it. For him to hit twice with magic. All right. So yeah. yet again, this thing has taken a rather large amount of damage, but still alive. And then my second one, I'm going to cast. I'm trying to find where it went. I'll do Scorching Ray. Uh, I'll do the same guy then. Okay. Scorching Ray fires three shots. So. Oh. If you want to try your luck. I guess never mind. It almost <laughs> rolled over to a nat 20. Alright. So with that, anything else? No, that is it. Damn it, Jess, you jinxed his magic. What? <laughs> Drove an eight. Oh. <clears throat> so. Well, it's your fault we're doing this. So. <laughs> you and Kyle's. Oh, there's Justin's. Yeah, so Justin's unearths itself and immediately tries to get to him. Because Justin is 50 feet from the ground, this thing is on disadvantage to get him. Because it basically had to burst out of the ground to try to make the jump. What's your AC, Justin? 14. Wow. Okay, I'm I'm super lucky today, apparently. So I got a 21 and an 18 on disadvantage. Wow. So I'm going to need you to roll a con save first. Oh, that's a suffer if he fails. Yeah, because then he's also taking fall damage. Ooh. Ooh, you better hope you succeed, man. Oh, okay, so you made it. So you got smacked with a tentacle, you took five poison damage, but you did not fall out of the sky in an epic and horrible manner. And then you also took eight piercing damage from the bite. All right. With that, Blink gets to try again. <laughs> Fail. <laughs> Man, Blink sucks at this. Elia. Useless. Roll, much roll that con save. I demand a new creature. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Would be a less sucky creature, please? <laughs> okay. Well, I'm sorry, Elia. You also are staying stunned. Um, yep, and uh, these two carrying crawlers are going to make their attacks. Tentacle and bite. Uh, oh, wait a minute. Oh, uh, nope. So the tentacle misses. The bite hits, though, against Blink. And she loses seven more health. Good lord. So...
So, oh, and then uh, the other carrying crawler is going to keep attacking Elia with a tentacle for four poison damage, but misses with its bite. And Arshok, you're up. Uh, I'm gonna shoot this one. Oops. Which one? The big oh, guy, guy, right? Big guy? I can shoot the big guy, yeah, that'll work too. Let's shoot the big, big guy. guy. <laughs> Alright, go ahead and shoot the big guy then. That's a hit. Yeah. For another 12 damage. Alright. Minus... Our ranger has no creature hitting him, so he's just like... Pow! <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't worry, guys. I'm making that sound, too. <laughs> <laughs> It's our Legolas. <laughs> Everyone roll for perception real quick. Oh, no, again? Okay. Yeah. yeah. One, two, one. Okay. Uh, everyone I over. have a question really quick. One, two, two. Yeah, of course. Okay, so I have expertise in perception. Does that mean that my uh, bonus is doubled? So it should be rolling doubled automatically. Uh, okay. If you roll, we'll check the dice and make, or we'll check the yeah the uh, the math on it and see what it comes up with. So what's uh, your? Yep, it added oh. another seven on top of it. Okay. No, wait, that's yeah, it doubles your proficiency bonus on it. So. I guess, what's your normal uh, additive on there? Uh, I think it's a seven. modifier. So he has a normal plus seven? Yeah. Okay, then yeah, you should be adding two to that, so that's a 16. I don't know why it's not automatically doing it, because it's definitely supposed to. Oh, wait. Wait, hang on. Isn't it wisdom? Wisdom. Oh yeah, no, yeah, you're getting the you're getting the plus two. I just checked the character sheet. Okay. You are you are getting the plus two you're supposed to be getting. Okay. Okay. Good, good, good. good. Alright. So with that. Um do do do. Oh, uh everyone rolled a twenty, so yeah, Luzeros, Shalana, and Leaf. You all hear just lightning clapping away in the distance. And it's not Leaf's storm. Is it not my storm? No. Super. Yep. And uh, and it's aside from your storm, it was sunny and clear all day. So. Oh, so Michigan weather. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. We're in this, Florida. <laughs> this entire campaign takes place in Michigan, actually. Uh, uh see. Like, Wait, I don't see a pothole. Oh, it's right there the under that corpse. The roads are too good! <laughs> yeah, the pothole's also, right here Michigan, under this corpse. <laughs> Michigan, there was never any sun in the first place. Alright, so Luzeros, it is uh, your turn. Heat index was 105 on Wednesday, so... Ew. It's gross. Yeah, it's been bad. Um, Alright, uh, for me, so I'm going to be attacking... I, I think that's the one that's targeting me, right? Uh, yep. <laughs> Okay, so we're, we're going to attack that guy. Uh, two unarmed strikes again. Hopefully this time we actually have some better luck. Yeah, that's way better. Yeah. Yeah, look at you. Identicals. All right. Um, let me see here. I don't want to do that. Now we're going to save those, actually. Um, get there. So yeah, we'll just do the regular attacks for those. That's 12, and so that's 22 total right there. All right. Then we're going to do our bonus action on our strike again. Ooh, 14. That was close. Right, that hits, right? Oh, yeah, that's a hit. Okay, cool. And so that will be 33 total damage to that one. 
Okay. Did like, you kill yours? I probably didn't, but you know. So it's not dead yet. I don't want to kill it yet because I want to try something. <clears throat> okay, so the purpose that you only hit it with 36 damage. 33. Whatever. He wants to try to make it a puppet. And as you are discussing with your wife from across com from across the battlefield why you didn't kill it in one try, <laughs> uh, a tentacle lashes out and smacks you for six poison damage, bringing you back into reality as you have to do a con save. Please be successful. That is barely successful. You are so cool. lucky. <laughs> awesome. Great. Uh, reaction time. Okay. Um, I'm using, my, I'm using a charge of my Blood Fury tattoo uh, okay. to do a counter attack against it. All right. Um, so that's going to be with advantage. Uh, I That'll do it. Where is that? Yeah, 23. Okay. And then since I'm hitting, I'm going to go ahead and do it now anyways, might as well. Um, I'm going to expend uh, a second charge on it to uh, deal the bonus necrotic damage. Okay. Uh, so that will be seven regular damage, bludgeoning damage, and right. then I've got the 4d6 that I have to roll for the necrotic. Jesus. So that's 11 necrotic damage, so that's what, 18 total right there? Mm -hmm. You are so lucky, seriously. And then that 11 that I just did also heals me, so. Yeah, that's, that's totally fair. So, um, <laughs> so it had exactly 11 left after your 7 bludgeoning. So you see this thing, like, holding it together after the punch, and then it's just sitting there just slowly, like, having this necrotic energy flow through its body just enough where it, its body just gives up and it just sort of does the bug thing where it like goes around in a circle goes up onto its back and just goes <laughs> awesome fantastic so just add that to your already very high xp on this battle Seven, there we go. All right, so the carrion crawler that is currently attacking Shalana will now attempt a tentacle and a bite. Your AC is what again? Fifteen. Okay, both of those hit. So you're going to take four poison damage, eight piercing damage, and I need you to roll a con save. Four. That, that's a pass, yeah. Uh, yeah, that will that will succeed. So I think an eighteen passes. Okay. <laughs> um, I'm gonna use my reaction to okay. do hellish rebuke on that dude. All right. Where's that? Do do There's cast. Sorry, I was checking something. Um, okay, so you do your Hellish Rebuke, and on this one, that is probably going to hit, because these things have terrible dexterity, but... Oh, nope. Well, it's still half damage, so... So, uh, this thing reels back and avoids the brunt of the damage, but it still gets 7 damage from the uh, Hellish Rebuke. Okay. All right, and now it is Shalana's turn. Yes. I gotta make sure I'm doing the right one. All right. There we go, that's the right one. Okay, so now I'm going to cast a sword burst. Okay. 
Yeah, that's every creature within five feet of me. Leah's within five feet of me? I thought she was under this one. On my screen, she's showing up right next to you. I can't right, see her. Yeah. Right next to you. Wait. She's on the square right above you. She's square right above you. She's not there on my screen. That's why I didn't see her. Look, look at my screen. That's really weird. Yeah, she's not showing Leah's up. Leah's not on my screen. That's so weird. She's not on Chris's screen either. What? I see you. All right, hang on. I'm going to exit her from the from the main screen, and then I'm going to put her back. How about now? Okay. Okay. So that then I'm not going to do that. <laughs> yeah. Because I'm not provided all the information. That's okay. That's that's acceptable. I We roll with the technical difficulties, right? <laughs> that's, that's how it goes. Yes, we do. Yes, okay. We do. So instead, I'm going to do my Eldritch Blast Hickey thing again. One on each. All right. I think it's 20 will hit. That is correct. That will hit. So five to each. Okay. I've been wondering where she was this whole time. I thought she was just under a monster. No, just All right. <laughs> so, you may have saved Elia's life for future turns because that five damage was all it took to finish off this one. That's good. So she's no longer stunned because it's dead, or she's still stunned? No, it's just it's gonna stop attacking her, strictly attacking um, her, because okay. you know it's dead. <laughs> so you may have saved your life. <laughs> Seven. Six, there we go. Okay. And continuing, Shalana, anything else? Uh, no, nope, that's it. All right. The super crawler uh, will retract its tentacle now. Um, I said it will attract retract its tentacle now, and then uh, it will try again. So this time, it's going to try to do a biting sort of dive at this area here taking down everything with it. So everything there... Uh, oh yeah, Gurukur's in the sky. So this is literally just Leaf and that thing. Die, die, die. Critical fail. <laughs> Jesus. Alright, well, I have to give you guys something because my thing critical failed. So, it directly... It missed you completely and directly hit with its face and ate its little offspring. <laughs> Nice. So. Now, just because that one killed off, how much health did it have left? The big one? Oh, the little no, one. No, the one you just killed. Oh, it only had seven thing. left. Uh, okay. I was just wondering how close I had gotten it. Oh, you were very close. If you'd, like, hit it with anything. If that Scorching Ray had hit, you'd have been done with it. Mm -hmm. so that's a bummer, but also awesome. You know, super close. With that... Leaf, you're up. All right. Um, I'm going to dart away. Let's get some distance. So it's humongous, but it's going to do a attack of opportunity, but it's going to be disadvantaged. Your AC is not 19, though. So... You're gonna, as you dart away, you're gonna take six poison damage and go ahead and roll a con save. Uh, let's see. That is a fail. So actually, you're gonna stay right here and be stunned. All right, and you said how much damage? Three. Uh, six. Six. Yes. Alright. Guru Dang. <laughs> yep, that's it. How big is the giant <sighs> giant? Uh, what's the big. largest size in the game again? Well, no, like how tall is he? Oh, uh, he's, he's towering. He's at your height. Like, he could reach you if he wants to. Oh, I'm more saying, like, I could then kind of fly over and do a physical attack on him. Yes, you could. Okay, because it doesn't show up under my actions when I went over under my inventory, 
Mine will start use the rod of lordly might. Oh yeah. So oh, yeah. that's why I was double checking to see if I needed to fly down at all or anything. Oh yeah, no, you could you could fly over to him and hit him with it. All right. So I'm mean, gonna fly over right there. That way I'm still with contact with the same guy who's attacking me. Yep. And I am just going to attack him as it is in the regular mace form. Okay. Nice. Ooh. Oh, I'm seeing messages. Adam may be asking me why we're not streaming. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Kevin okay. already messaged me and asked me if we were having technical issues or if there was or if we just canceled. So I let him know what happened. Oh, okay. Thank Story you for doing that. Lives. He said he was going to message you, so I don't know. I didn't get a direct message, but we'll figure it um, out. The next thing is it doesn't state what my damage would be, oh. except for I have the option for drain life. Oh. Hmm. Let me take a look at this thing, why it's not showing you like, it's supposed to be a rod or a mace. I just shared it over. Yeah. Okay, there we go. That's ah. huge. Yeah. All right, yes. so. Plus three bonus to attack. Damage rolls made with it. The rod has properties associated with six different six buttons that are set in a row along it. There's three yeah. other properties. Oh yeah, no, this can't be used as just a mace then. Okay, then I'll use it with uh, button two. That's the crescent shaped uh, battle axe. Okay. If you press button two, the rod's flanged head folds down, and two crescent shaped blades spring out. Forming the rod into a magic battle axe that grants a plus three bonus to attack and damage rolls with it. So. Does he get to keep, get to keep his nat 20? Uh, yeah, he'll get to keep his nat 20. Uh, he just has to roll for damage. What do I then roll for damage? So I guess. A battle axe. I hate to ask, yeah. You'll just have to look up or, or uh, you know, roll a battle axe with a plus three right. to attack and damage. Which you already did the attack, so yeah. It'd just be a battle axe yeah. plus three damage. All right, and then while I'm looking that up real quick, I do want to do the drain life. Okay. When you hit a creature with a melee attack using the rod, you can force the target to make a DC 17 con save. On a failure, they take an extra 4d6 necrotic. Okay, is that one of the buttons, or is that just... That's one of the other features. It's just an extra trait. Oh, sweet. Yeah, an extra trait. Jesus, why did I give this to you guys? <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah because fault. I love giving out things. Because then I make encounters like this. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, so go ahead and roll that extra uh, 46 necrotic to drain damage. And it's 1d8 slashing. Okay. Mm -hmm. So. It's so 1d8 plus your strength modifier, plus slashing, plus the yeah. necrotic. So. In total. It will be. Six plus two plus three, so yep. eleven. Yep. And then four d six. Twelve hey, necrotic. So another so twelve. Okay, so that's a twelve plus a. Oh yeah. Two. Roll. Uh, oh yeah. Yeah, roll not the twelve, but roll the. Uh, roll the damage again. D8 essentially. Again. Yeah, roll the eight again. <laughs> uh, yep. So an extra two, or four because your strength, but yeah. All right, so four plus 12 plus 11 equals, I'm bad at math. Uh, 23, 25, 27. 27. Okay, so Gurik here did 27 to the big fella. All right. Is that everything? Yes, that is everything. Okay. All right, so moving on, the carrying crawler that's after you is going to try to do a jump at you to just bite you. He's going to have severe disadvantage. Yeah, so he didn't he didn't get there. 
And as he falls, he's going to take 1d4 falling damage. All right, Blink is going to, you know, attempt to, uh... Who's controlling Blink? Basically me. I'm just using commands that you give them. So See? originally the command was to, you know... Suggestion? Take... Yes. Whoever's controlling. Stick him over here. Or he's got to kill off this thing first. Yeah, he's, 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 he's been still stunned got for one a while. after him. <laughs> If he can, if he can, or she, whatever, can jump, because he's on a rock, right? Right. If he can jump over this guy, get over here, now this beastie okay. is playing. Did she? Uh, nope. Twelve does not pass. So. She's paralyzed. Yep, still paralyzed. But. That, yeah, that was something I was thinking. I was like, hey, if you, if you stick them like over here, or over here, you know, whatnot, then one of these beasties is now or uh, flanked. So. Yeah, but she's basically been paralyzed for like three times now, so. Yeah, very unlucky. So, uh, <clears throat> Come on, Leah. All right, so Ilya. You got it, Leah. You got it this time. This is the one. Con save. Here we go. That's there the one. Is. You are free. Your next turn, you will get to do stuff. <laughs> Don't worry, we'll leave at least one alive for you. Alright, Carrying Crawler is going to attack Blink again, and oh my god. Alright, well, this gives me my excuse to, uh... You know. Kill Blink? No, not to kill Blink. Blink goes unconscious. I'm just going to put an X, but Blink is unconscious, and when she wakes up, she's going to be in a new shape again. <laughs> okay. Fun. I also learned something about her, uh, about see this character today. Apparently, she can talk to you guys. Telepathically, yes. Yes. Didn't realize that back when we, uh, I think we talked about it at one point, too. I did not realize the length of that. Now I know. <laughs> And I will recant that mistake by allowing you guys to communicate with her more effectively. Right. Yes. So, in the meantime, um, because one of the characters has died, it is time for the third appearance of your savior character. What are we going to say? The district showed up only uh, when we fought when we were fighting the dragon when the uh, greenness was under attack and he was alive up until we got to uh, until the cave. Oh, then second, my bad. I was sitting here trying to think of my. Is it three? Three? <laughs> when else did we kill it? <laughs> <laughs> my bad. It's hard to keep track when he's in three different campaigns. Yeah. I uh -huh. mean, <laughs> we upgrade or we leveled up the strength at That's least fair. once. That is also correct. He's actually level six. You know, when when you're when you when I keep giving you the XP of killing whole dragons, you tend to literally level up by yourself a lot. So, uh, which one is this? Uh, this is still the same Istrik that you Istric guys 2. have. Istrik two point oh. Istrik, yeah. This is well, actually, it's Istrik like three point oh because two point oh is in the other Horde campaign. <laughs> so um, so all right. Right. Fine. green or whatever. So, as... So, green here? Yes. This Istric comes essentially flying out of the sky on a ball of lightning and buries his great axe into... The hell? Buries his great axe oh, into oh. this uh, carrying crawler. And he's, he's arriving in a rage, by the way. <laughs> I would like to rage! You just hear off in the distance, oh. like, I'm already pissed! And just <laughs> smash. And as he lands, you just see this thing get, like, writhe Dead? around in anger. <laughs> and then he goes for his second attack with the Great Axe. And, lucky you. Finishes the job. Giving Istrik the tiny bit of XP I always end up giving him all the time. <laughs> so, boom, there we go. Istrik's an XP, XP board. And we were at that 
carrying crawler, so that carrying crawler is no longer alive. Arshok, it's your turn. I'm going to shoot the big guy again. <laughs> <laughs> Pew. Yeah, my original plan was to have it so once you guys killed the small ones, I was just going to have Istrix show up literally casting like a lightning axe move on the big guy. But this is more fun. Does that hit? That, that, <laughs> barely. <laughs> Golly. I don't know. Seems a little sketchy. <laughs> and there's another 12. <laughs> oh, wait, that's right. You're right. <laughs> All right. It's super sneaky, though, because the creature has no <laughs> idea where he is. I mean, in theory, maybe, but no. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and then... Uh... Oh, man. Well, Arshak, I hope you've enjoyed this bit of time where you weren't being attacked. Let's go! Because the one that's been like, the one that's been tracking your footsteps is now bursting out of the ground. Tentacle and bite. What is your AC? I definitely know it's not 27. No, it's not a 27. It's a 17. Close enough. No. Um, I was about to say, no, it's a 28. So uh, you take four poison damage, and I'm going to need you to roll a con save. You got it, man. You can do it. You got this. Ah, you got it. You resist the poison and are unaffected. You lose I, arrows. How many did I take? Uh, four. You took four poison damage. Alrighty. Um, I'm going to uh, attack the uh, the one with the crawler that's directly in front of me. Um, I guess the one that's going after uh, Blink. Yep, now it's on a free for all. That'll hit. And a 15. That'll hit. So that is 20 damage total. Alright. And then. Yeah, I'm gonna do a flurry of blows. Oopsies, not what I was doing there. Um, so this is a key point for flurry of blows. Uh, we're gonna do an unarmed strike. Uh, and yep, that'll hit. Bit. That's another 12 damage there. And then the second strike of my flurry of blows. I'm going to do uh, my healing hand, since so it's not going to require me to spend a key point. Um, and I'm going to uh, strike um, Blink. Okay. All right. Uh, Blink going to be a new creature when it wakes up? So that will be nine that healing. Is okay. Um, with that, Blink gets up, and let me roll, or... Uh, Kyle, since you healed her, you rolled a d20 in this case. Yay! Uh, da, da, da. Be something good! The 13, we'll take that. Alright, let me get that monster manual back out. I have a table written up, but funnily enough, I don't have the, the like level 2 changes in yet. I have all the higher ones that I made up. <laughs> Alright, where were we? On the beasts. All right, so you rolled a 13, so the 13th applicable creature is what she's going to be. Mm, not a boar. Not a camel. Not a cat. Not a crab. <laughs> not that a deer. So not a dire wolf. No wait, that's that's too. Oh. Uh, not a draft horse. <laughs> oh come on! Then we can get the gnome to move faster. Not an elk. Uh, but da, da, da. not a giant badger. 
all that would be so cool right but imagine don't give a fuck. not a giant I centipede don't give a fuck. <laughs> hang on we got four three to go uh not a giant fire beetle that could be interesting could have been really could have been um not a giant lizard Mm. That would have been good. Yeah, Alright guys, one left. What will it be? Oh, you guys are gonna hate me so much. As Blink's attempt at changing shape again happens, she becomes it's a giant something. Yeah, it's giant something, because in alphabetical order, that's what was next. Mm -hmm. After Elizabeth. Yeah, oh, no. so Blink becomes. I'm naming this one because I want to. Uh, Blink is now Rat Tattooey. It's a giant rat? rat. It's a giant <laughs> rat. Oh my god. Rat Tattooey. Rat Tattooey. Bad. Giant rat, huh? Yep, that's what she is now. Alright, let's open that one up. Be happy. I was about to make her a disease giant rat, but I felt like that was a bit overkill. Mm -hmm. All right. So, um, yeah. Now I gotta re-roll her initiative. What did she get? All right, eight eight point one five. So pretty much same same spot in the turn order. One yep. down. All right. So Lucero, so you just healed. Her for nine HP. Do, do, do. Okay, continuing. That was it for me. Okay. All right. Then Istric is going to move forward after killing that one. He's going to crawl over that one and head right for the big guy. Istric begins using the. Uh, his axe to attempt to climb. Doesn't somebody have his axe? Not the lightning axe, just the uh, just the normal great axe that he always has. He also has. Well, he no longer. Actually, yeah, he does now have his lightning axe again. He may have. Actually, wait, no. One of you guys has that, don't don't you? It's not me. No, I don't think so. I don't think anybody got that. Oh. Well then. Never mind. He told us we didn't get his gear because we didn't think about it. Oh, that's right. I did. Remember that. Yep. Thank you for the reminder. Um, well, there wasn't really a body left because remember <laughs> he, had a, he caused that giant like electricity shockwave that basically killed everybody? Yeah, but in the pile would have been his lightning axe. Yeah, that's true. So, anywho. Um, yeah, so. He is now using his normal great axe to attempt to climb this giant creature, and somewhat successfully. So he is moving up about five feet with every one of these uh, slashes and climbs for a total of 19, 28, 30 damage. Okay. And Shalana, you're up. Okay. Are you still getting this little guy so I can go after the guy? Uh, yeah, sure. Okay. I'm also going to keep Sita's uh, character sheet open because hopefully, if the rat doesn't get stunned, it'll actually be able to use some of her spells. Okay, I'm going to do the Eldritch Blast again, and I'm going to do both of them at Big Guy. Alright. That will hit. Awesome. So, 14. Alright. Minus 14. There we go. 
and add that to Shalana. There we go. Okay. Also, I should tell you, a couple of you, this might shock you because I swear we just did this, but a couple of you are already pretty close to leveling up at this rate. Heck yeah. Like, you're um, within, like, a thousand or two thousand of it, and seeing as the need, as the level up requirement is fourteen thousand for all of you, that's saying something. <laughs> so. Um, and then I'm going to use my bonus action to create a shadow blade in my hand. Okay. I'll just... I'm, I'm not going to use it yet, but I just, I have it. That sounds good. All right, cool. Um, with that, the carrying crawler is now going to attempt to tentacle off uh, Istric while also trying to bite uh, Leaf. A critical fail, so Istric grabs the tentacle and attempts to uh, slash at it with his axe. And it's a hit for another 19 damage. Alright. Uh, and Leaf, you are untouched because apparently having its tentacle chopped off uh, may have made it miss completely on you. Just, just a little bit. And with that, Leaf, it's your turn. Uh, go ahead and roll that con save. Come on, real good. Oh, son of a bitch. Nice. Nope, nope. nope, you are still stunned. Alright, with that, Gurik here, you're up. I'm gonna shoot a Scorching Ray at the crawler that's attacking me. Okay. My mouse literally just broke. There it is. Now it's moving. But my mouse just froze. Son of a bitch. Battery. Oh, there it is. That is a hit. So, this should be nine per Scorching Ray, correct? Because it makes three? Yep. Alright. So that's 27 so, damage. So you just see three beams of flame smack this thing in the underbelly. And Gurk here gets 54. Or 54. There it is. Okay. Alright. The carrying crawler that is trying to attack you now. Is gonna yet again attempt to do a jump and bite you. So severe disadvantage. Still a miss. This is what I get for making one making each of them target you for your footsteps. Or for your noises. <laughs> Elia. You are now free to actually take a turn. I'm gonna move over here and use both of my attacks on this guy. Nice. Those are both hits. Woohoo! Nice. Uh, are you still wielding a shield? Yes. Okay, so one-handed then. All right, that's still 19 so damage. Does she get flanking? Uh, so with the way, no. Uh, it would need to at least have something either here or here for it to be flanking. If she would have moved one more diagonal, it would have been flanking. Yeah, yeah. that's why I asked, because I'm like, eh, you're kind of close. Either way, both both hit, so that wouldn't have really... That wouldn't have added to the damage, just to the attack rolls. Alright, so Elia just got another... Yep, there it is. Okay. Alright. Anything else, Elia? Nope, that's it. Alright. Giant rat. I mean, uh, Sita. Sorry, Ratatouille. Is going Ratatouille. to... Ratatouille. Ratatouille. 
is going to actually cast Entangle on the big guy. Oh, wait, no, I'm sorry. You can't cast Entangle on things that big. It's going to cast Entangle yeah. on the one in front of him. Her. Not good at remembering this. <laughs> so, alright, so that thing's going to have to make a strength save. And it failed. That thing is now rooted to its place and cannot move until it breaks that strength save. And now it's its turn, so it's going to try to break that strength save. And it failed. So would attacks on that one currently have advantage? Now they would, yes. So it's still it's only rooted to the spot, so it can still attack, so it's going to try to bite and tentacle at Luzeros, actually, because he's the last one that hit it. Or actually, no, he's not. Elia is. Uh, that's a crit fail on the tentacle, so Elia, go ahead and make a reaction of some kind. Okay. Yeah, that's a hit. And that Ooh. is a kill. Nice. So as that thing came as that thing came to tentacle you, you dodged the tentacle and jammed the javelin straight into its eye. And it is dead. D E D. D E D dead. <laughs> that's right. It's dead. All right, so with that, uh, yeah, we'll just remove that one from the turn order now. Arshak, you're up. All right, um, well, since nothing's finally fucking dead, I'm going to use my bonus action to move Hunter's Mark over onto this guy. Okay. And uh, I guess I'm going to shoot him with my fucking bow. All right. Sorry, I know we I know we said ten o'clock, but uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna I, if you guys are cool with it, I'd like to at least try to finish the encounter. I'm good with it. Yeah, it's mostly just Justin. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. All right. Yep, that's a hit, and that is going to do yep twelve damage. All right. If I back up, does that give him an opportunity attack? Yes, it will. Okay, I'm I'm gonna stay where I'm at then. Okay. Yeah, unless you have like one of the abilities that allows you to disengage uh, as like a bonus action or something, since you already attacked, yeah, you would you would have to take the opportunity attack. All right, so it's now the carrying crawler's turn. He's gonna attempt to tentacle and bite you. The tentacle is gonna be a critical, so I'm gonna need you to roll a con save, but you're taking seven poison damage for that. Okay, so you're not stunned, and what's your AC again? 17. Okay, yeah, you the bite misses completely, though. Alright. Luzeros, you're up. <clears throat> okay, um, well, since uh, this guy uh, just so happens to be dead now, uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 25, 40, I'm going to move right there. And then... Yeah. He's, he's right here. I'm, 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 uh, oh. Yeah, I'm right. oh, yeah. It, I'll just move it moved I'm, him yeah. underneath Sorry. for me. So that's why I didn't see where he moved. Yeah, dead body's now in the trees. Um, yeah, so I'm going to move her, and we're going to do my two unarmed strikes. <clears throat> All right. Well, I mean, it's going to be a total of three, but yeah. Um, right. That's a 20 to hit. Yep. That's a 17 to hit, and that's another 20 to hit. All right. Um, that first one, I'm going to spend another key point to do a stunning strike on it. Okay. Uh, so it's going to have to make a constitution saving throw. All right. Con save plus four is a 16. What's the roll? Damn, it's a 15. <laughs> Not stunned. Not stunned. Uh, that is 18, grand total 30. 30 damage to, um, wow, big guy, big guy. Big guy. All right. Minus 30. Giving Luzeros 30 on this. 
putting you a hell of a lot closer to leveling up. All right, anything else? Uh, 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 now there's nothing else I can do. All right, uh, Istrig is going to keep climbing. <laughs> so, yep, just going to keep on going. 30, 34. So as he continues to climb, he does 34 damage to this thing. Oops, that is not 5,000. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take 5,000 XP. Yeah, same here, man. <laughs> no, it was 5,000 damage. So the XP, oh. uh, you know... Um, what do you call it? Uh, calculation was about to be like, oh, Istrix level 20 now. <laughs> One million. <laughs> One million. Hey, we'll take it a level 20 Istrix. He'll just wipe everything out. Yeah, yeah right? He's like, Istrix, just go, man. Just, you, can't, you handle this. We'll just <laughs> hang out. Blank. We'll do diplomatic stuff back here. <laughs> there you go. It's like, we'd like to negotiate. We're not going to negotiate. Uh, have you watched what our guy over there is doing? <laughs> he just killed Tiamat mean? with a single hit. <laughs> <laughs> Lee, don't forget about your lightning cloud either. Yeah, exactly. Don't forget about the light. Forget that. All right, with that, Shalana, you're up. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is throw that shadow blade I conjured in my hand. Um... I just gotta figure out what I do for the hit part for the tackle. I don't know in this case, actually. <laughs> I know. I'm, Let me it, scroll back up to that spell and see what I can do. Okay, you weave together threads of shadow, create a sword, solidified gloom. In your hand, the magic sword lasts until the spell. It counts as simple melee weapon, which you are proficient with. It deals 2d8 psychic damage. So basically, yeah, just do like a normal melee attack with any weapon, and we'll just not use the damage from whatever roll, from whatever weapon you use. Got it. Okay. Just make sure it's a strength weapon, not a not like a dex weapon. Well, it has a finesse property. Oh, then never mind. Use whichever. <laughs> whichever you feel will go better. Yeah, just the dagger. <clears throat> oh, yeah, that's right, you're throwing Fantastic. it, so that's right. Ooh. It's gonna blow up in my face. What? Ooh. I threw wow. it. So, yeah. uh, you Fantastic threw it, and it burst apart as it hit him. Like, the shadows didn't hold together, so you must have lost concentration on the spell as it, threw, as it flew. Okay. And as that happens, this thing basically chose to attempt to reach out a massive tentacle at you. Super. And your AC is 15? Yeah. Yeah, you take 5 poison damage, and go ahead and roll a constitution saving throw. <clears throat> My bad. Yep. So, the tentacle hits you, and of course you get the poison damage, but you resist the poison's effect, uh, stunning effect. Okay. All right. Um, so now I'm gonna... Oh yeah, go ahead. 30. Um, I'm gonna use my other weapon. Yep. The short sword. Oh my god. What the hell is happening? Why are my attack rolls doing that? Oh my gosh. So, so I guess I freaking dropped my sword or some crap now, huh? So as you kind of fumble with your sword, it hears it clang to the ground, looks down at you again, and attempts to just smash its face into the ground, attempting to bite you. And you Super. take nine piercing damage from one of the teeth. Oof. Fantastic. Anything else? Um, I'm gonna use my bonus action to reconjure that um, sword in my hand. Okay. All right, six is a reroll. Okay. 
So, uh, it's going to, because there's so many enemies essentially around it, I rolled for what it's going to do. It attempts to tentacle at you, but misses. And it attempts to bite at Gurukir, who's in the air. Gurukir, what's your uh, AC? 14. Yeah, you're going to take 7 piercing damage. So it does atten- it does graze you with the sen- with its teeth, and you get a little clawed up, but avoid being swallowed whole. Leaf, you're up. <clears throat> Roll that con save. <laughs> Come on. Okay, Leaf continues to stare off into the distance because you were running away when, or moving backwards when. Uh... <laughs> All right, uh, Gurik here, you're up. That super awesome storm is so useful right now. Guys. <laughs> right. Yeah. Well, my plan was just like get, get out of the way, but still go like pew 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 with lightning, and then I didn't get away. <laughs> I'm gonna do a chromatic orb on the one that's attacking me. Okay. That is going to barely miss. Yeah. Alright, anything um, else? Yeah, I'm going to use my other two sorcery points to be able to try again. Okay. Worse. Oh boy. Yep. <laughs> So two chromatic orbs bounce and hit the ground around this thing as it sits there, getting ready to attack. Speaking of which, uh, it attempts to jump up and bite you with its super disadvantage. And finally gets you for seven more piercing damage. Except for seven? Yeah. Alright, and then Elia, you're up. Alright, I'm gonna move over right here. Use my long sword for both attacks. Okay. Uh, yep, that'll do it. Wow. What do you want? Do I want D1? So, um,. As this thing is focused on Gurik here, right when it lands, it comes face to face with Elia, who stabs it yet again in one of its eyes and just wrenches that sword in there to finish the job. Mm-hmm. Nice. Go, Elia. And that's when the giant rat, Ratatouille, <laughs> leaps into action. What is this thing's moving speed? Because if it's a lot, ah, oh, it's just enough. I'm doing it. It's gonna try to bite the giant. It's exce- oh, you guys are gonna hate me so much. This is so dumb. I'm gonna at least try to make it sound exciting. So, as the giant rat runs forward, Istric is- has gotten to this thing's head and is punching it in its head. So it is writhing around and trying to get Istric off. It lands with its head right here and the rat just grasps onto its face with its little teeth and claws. And the giant thing writhes around oh my God. and dies. <laughs> I knew it! Oh, How much man. health did it have? One for like six turns. <laughs> no! When you hit it... No! Or, so Istric climbed it for that 34. It had 35. So it had one. One for so long. So I'm like, Shalana's gonna get it. Maybe if uh, if fucking Leaf can get out of there, he might do it. Like, because you can use your bonus action to cast the lightning. Or your action, or yeah. whatever. Yeah, it's an action. Oh, then never mind. You but couldn't still, have done it. Like, either way, you were... Dead. So many things. Like, yeah. Wow. Hilarious. Nope. A yeah, rat. No, I just felt like it needed to beat the shit out of me with its one HP. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. No way. <laughs> That thing, uh, that thing was just 
really trying to survive. We yeah, well, still have one more on the pedal. All right. Um, yeah. Then the last one, Arshak. What are you doing? Uh, I'm gonna try and kill it with my short swords. All right. So you whip out your short swords and go at it. That's a hit. That's a hit. Woo! 55 damage. 15. That's 15. Where's yep. the hunter's mark? Yeah, don't forget the hunter's mark. Yeah, so it's 15 plus hunter's mark. Plus six. All right. Twenty-one. Oh wait, so it adds to weapon type damage. So actually, I think you get to no wait. That's only the first one. Yep. Okay. Either way, it's a lot of damage. Did so, we get hunter's mark twice? Damage twice for that? That's what I was trying to think did. about. Um, I think it's because supposed to be only for the. Twice. You know what? Roll it again. Yeah. If I'm wrong, I'll read it later, and I'll well, I'm not going to correct it, but you know. Whatever. We'll just be smarter next time. Yeah, I'll just remember to not let you guys have free damage next time. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so go ahead and roll the yeah, the hunter's mark again. The the damage. There. Jesus Christ. Twenty seven. Just gonna keep taking that max damage, okay? <laughs> <laughs> you guys already killed my big my big guy. The rest of this battle's kinda gonna be a little dull. Anticlimactic. Like everything's done, and then you guys just look back, and there's just Arshok fighting one by himself. Like, yeah. <laughs> As there's just like a monster in front of you, dead. <laughs> that still only counts as one. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Like that's how Arshok's feeling. He's like, that still only counts as one. I got two. <laughs> it was a rat that killed it. A rat. A fucking rat. <laughs> It could have cast a spell because it's technically a druid, but it was like, no, I got this, guys. I'm gonna bite it. <laughs> That's like on par with if like Ron Weasley threw scabbers at at the basilisk. You know what I'm saying? And they just what finished the job. <laughs> uh, How big is a giant rat, though? It's like the size of a small dog. Okay, I was thinking it'd be bigger. Or medium dog. I mean, sorry, I meant medium dog. Okay. It's a small beast. Yeah, it's it's considered a small beast, but small is like the size of like a like a like a little terrier, you know? Mm. Okay. While tiny is like a bug. Anyway, so uh yeah, so he hits you for five damage and go ahead and roll a con save. Wow. Alright, so you are stunned. Right at the end of the battle. <laughs> Lose arrows, you're up. Uh, running straight down to here to this uh, this guy here. Excuse you. You're, there's only one guy left. Okay. Love it. Uh, let's see, unarmed strike. That's a nat 20. Unarmed strike. That's another nat 20. What the hell? Um, and then another unarmed strike. That's Jesus a nat 1. Christ. All right, well, roll the damage for the first two. Hey, Kyle. That's kind of funny. You can roll something besides nat. <laughs> yeah, you can. Uh, so that's, uh, what, so what, that's... Uh, 11 for the first one? 11 for the first one, so it's still alive. Okay. And then the second one is 15. 15, so that's 26 total for the first two strikes, really. 26 total. Okay, so. I uh, have yeah. that one again. And then I have that nat one at the end there, but. I guess that kind of depends on whether or not it's still alive after those it's two dead. strikes. Okay. So you just punch the rock afterwards. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> Shit! <laughs> Take 1d4 bludgeoning damage. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> no, uh, so that thing's down. Ah, right <laughs> As Three. you just look around at all the dead corpses, and, you know, as, as opposed to live corpses, uh, 
Yeah, I know, I know what I said immediately. I was like, oh, yeah, never mind. <laughs> As you look around at all the bodies. Yeah, we, we do not have necromancers in this group. No. Um, yeah, I know. So you've been watching the other one? <laughs> no. Oh, okay. You should. Shelby's been uh, reviving everything she can. The other horde? She's gonna create. Uh, yeah, the other horde. She's gonna create her own little army of undead creatures. That's pretty cool. Yeah. The only annoying part about it is I have to keep track of all of them. And yeah. How many you got? Fifty. All right, we're just gonna have them all roll for one. No. They all have unique personalities. <laughs> this is Tim. He's special. Well, the first one she named Adonis, and that one, uh, that one, she, like, even though it does not respond to anything she does because it's undead, she keeps, like, doing things like braiding its hair, which is funny, <laughs> and she's, like, she'll, like, check on it and be like, are you okay? And he'll just stand there just... <laughs> no movement. It's an undead you know... hobgoblin. It's that not interested in good. conversation, but she really wants it to be like her little buddy, and I feel bad because I'm not going to give her that because it's undead. It's not even like yeah. a greater undead, it's just a ra a risen, like, weak dead. <laughs> that makes me think of um, The Walking Dead, what was it, Michonne? It's been forever since I watched that show. Oh, she when the little like... girl, like, thinks they're her friends? <laughs> No, uh, the remember um, she was just walking around with like two zombies on chains. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Just like this is my pet. Yeah, that's basically how it's starting to become. Like she's gonna end up with like five of those, just like not even on chains, just walking around with her. And every time someone's like trying to mess with her, there's just gonna be these hulking monsters that have like glowy evil eyes behind her. <laughs> like those? Oh, those are just my friends. I get plus 25 for intimidation because of them. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Um, okay, so with the encounter over, do you guys want to do anything in this area? Check for loot. Am I still stunned? Do your thing so we can take a rest. Do what thing? Your portal. What portal? The oh, thing. The, the hut thing? The rope. What? The rope you got a, that you, you got, got last time. Item. Your weird rope yeah, that lets you like go in a pocket magic dimension. Magic rope creates a room for us to sleep in. Am I still stunned? Uh, no, you're you're able to not be stunned. Although you both get uh, last dibs on the loot. Sad. Because you're stunned, <laughs> or you were stunned. Yeah, I don't know. Me and who else? It's a thing uh, that you gave me. So Arshak and Leaf are both. Arshak, because I have yeah. everything in here. <laughs> All right, so anyone who wants to investigate for any kind of loot, go for it. Me. Okay. That's investigation? Yes. Everyone roll for investigation who wants the loot, and the two people who are stunned will just get last dibs in whatever order they roll. Um, I was about to say, I see there's one person missing. Istric is just ripping off uh, the, like, carapace pieces of this thing. I have that rope, Jess. So that's you that has that? I was yeah. gonna say, like, I, I feel like everyone's really confused. I'm like, like, I don't have it in my inventory. <laughs> I have a scroll of it, so, which means I could only use it this once, right? Oh, now. rope trick. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, lose arrows. I haven't been able to learn it to put it into my... Um, Zeros, who are you? What are you searching for loot? What am I searching? What are you searching? Is it one of the carrion things or one of the dead bodies? Mm. Or is it the big carrion thing? Uh, you know, I'm gonna choose the big carrion. You walk inside of its mouth. Big bird. It's just right in there. And uh, and you just look around and you find. Wait for it. I had I have the book. There it is. Roll a d twenty. I'm doing this partially because next week, so I've eliminated all the cards I've given you guys because my little card system got a little fucked up when some of the decks fell over. Um, so I'm only doing this because I have to give you guys what you have earned. 
essentially. I rolled a three, by the way. You rolled a three. Do, do, do. Jess has a list, by the way. I know, but the problem is I haven't given you cards in a while. Mm -hmm. It's been like four sessions yeah. now, I think. So essentially, I'm just going to give you another whole deck. And then we're going to start fresh because I fixed my grid. I made it much more workable around like the rewards and everything. I'm going to like it better. Yes, Justin, you still get to keep your pet mole. I know you forgot about <laughs> what? it. It's okay. Do you, not, you guys don't remember the pet mole? I remember it now, yeah. <laughs> yeah, oh, right? Like, Justin got a pet no, mole. I don't really. You turned in a card and I gave you a pet mole. I must have been like right at the end of a really late session because I don't love all that at all. It was. It was like 2 in the morning. <laughs> I'll believe that. That explains it because I had probably been up since like 6. Check oh, your yeah. inventory. It, I don't have a pet mole. Oh yeah, no, there's there's no item for pet mole. I have to create it. I never created it because I forgot because it was such a off-the-cuff <laughs> thing in the moment. So I, I completely, it completely skipped my mind. All right. We're going to let Justin go to bed in one second. Um, you said you rolled a three? Yes. Okay, uh, roll a d100 for me. A d100? Yeah. 30. 30? All right, here we go. Yeah. So, with a 30, roll a 1d6 for me. d6, five. Okay, all right. Everybody's gonna get one treasure item because Kyle found an entire treasure hoard inside of that thing's mouth, inside of a oh, carriage, man. inside of a carriage that it swallowed. You're so, welcome. <laughs> uh, in the hoard, there's a total of 117 uh, platinum pieces. Damn. You guys can decide how to. Divvy that up for yourselves. Yeah, just writing it down right now. Yeah, definitely write that down. 117 platinum. And then mm -hmm. everyone roll a D100. And we will go in order. And like I said, the last two people will be... Actually, first two... Yeah, the last two people will be the people who were stunned. So. Oh, right. 95. <laughs> 71, 99, 95. Okay, so Four. Leaf, you were stunned, so you're going to go fifth. Or sixth. Uh, so the four of the four people who were not stunned, Luzeros, you're first. Um, yeah. You guys, have I given you a bag of holding? Yes. Yes, we have okay. one. You're not getting that bag of holding, then. Oh, <laughs> you get a wand of magic detection. I get a wand of magic detection. Yes. You guys are allowed to trade amongst yourselves. I'm just telling you what, like, you reach in, you pick up. Oh, look at this thing. Uh, Shalana, 95. I definitely gave you that already. You find a ring of swimming. Ring of swimming? Yes. Um, alright, where is... Elia, you get... I'm definitely... Oh, yeah, roll a d4, and that will decide if you get this item, because I've definitely given you given one of you guys one of these already. Three. three. Have we given you the number three elemental gem yet? Depends on what it is. That's what I'm trying to find. I know I gave you the fire one. Yep, mm -hmm. already did. So you don't get that. <laughs> 81. Uh, you definitely have the po Someone has the potion of fire giant strength. So potion of longevity. Oh my god, we're just going to go through all the magic tables. Oh, you get a ninth level spell scroll. Do me a favor, roll a d100. Oh, ninth level? Yep. 30. 30, alright. Let's, uh... Where the oh, fuck is my player's deep. handbook? Alright. Oh my gosh. This is gonna be crazy. So, ninth level, ninth level, ninth... Here we go. It's a big wish. <laughs> <laughs> You know what? <laughs> I'll give you that. You get a wish spell scroll. Oh my god. Please, and uh, just know I am way more lenient on the ridiculousness I'll let you guys get away with. I'm not oh, going to just man. gift you the end of the game, but you know what I mean? Like, think very carefully, and remember what I got when I was obnoxious enough with Adam. <laughs> 
I got a whole oh, yeah, armor your, uh, set your made of a dragon. Armor and sword and shield. Yeah. yeah. I got a whole set of awesome stuff. So, Elia now is holding a level nine, one charge. Very specific. You cannot learn this spell. In fact, whoever uses it, because the way Wish works, you can't use it again, ever, unless you get like a ring of three wishes or something like that. So even, even when you, you learn, learn the spell? spell, you can't learn the spell. Even if you learn the spell, you lose it after your first use. It's uh, if I remember right, it's in the what description. Did you mean? Well, it's. It's more. It's it's. I say it's a little more than that. It's like it's uh, much more clear in the actual description. I'm just trying to remember off the top of my head. Yeah, it's like you have like a basically like a 33 percent chance or something like that to not be able to ever cast that spell ever again. Interesting. Yeah. So like you don't, and I'm gonna tell you this right now. You can use one of the features it says in here. You do not have to. You give me something weird, and I will roll with you on how to make it reasonable to give you that in a game. I wish to make my character level 20. <laughs> <laughs> the furthest I would let that go is I'd give you a free level up. <laughs> so if you like just leveled up and you want to skip the next round of XP, just boom, level up. <laughs> but, yeah. Alright, so, um, who was next? That was, oh yeah, uh, Arshok. You got a 71. Basically, you guys already have all the items on Magic Item Table A, so... You also have the Oil of Slipperiness. You definitely yeah, have a spell... Have of, one. Yeah, one of you has definitely gotten a 5th level spell scroll before. Uh, po uh, Arshok, you found a Potion of Flying. Okay. And then... Uh, Leaf... You got. I gotta roll the four. Yeah, you're you're basically gonna end up with a. Yeah. So, problem is that's also all the low items on all these tables have already kind of taken. So, I've given you guys a weapon plus one, haven't I? No, I gave you a weapon plus two, the great sword. And then you gave it to me. Mm -hmm. Um. Okay. Uh, yeah, Leaf, uh, you find a quarterstaff. No. Nope. Yeah, you find a quarterstaff plus one. Okay. What about me? And with that, you guys, uh, are free to take a long rest. You skipped Justin. Oh my god, how did I miss Justin? Oh, he was the... Okay. Well, then I might be giving him something I said I gave to, uh... Because of where he rolled. No, wait, no. Yeah, nobody, nobody's got that. Okay, we're good. How did I miss that? Oh, whatever. Sorry about that, Justin. It's okay. I know. I'm gonna get you... I'm gonna let you go to bed soon. <laughs> I gotta be up at 4.30. Yeah, I'll get you out of here. <laughs> Alright, uh... Nope, you already have ammunition plus one. Y'all should. Are you guys definitely already have the potion of clairvoyance, potion of speed? No, you guys don't have that yet. Justin, you found a potion of speed. I have that. God damn it! All right. Next table. You guys already have a potion of storm giant strength. Oh, here we go. Something interesting. Uh, Justin, you rolled a 37, right? Yeah. You got a Cloak of Protection. That's good. Yeah, that's... You could use that. Let's see. Oh, there, plus one or plus two to your AC, I don't remember. So, Cloak of Protection. You gain a plus one bonus to AC and saving... And plus one to all saving throws while wearing the cloak. So, like, any spell that comes at you... So, like, you know, adding to your AC is already good, but there are very few things that add to your saving throws. Except for, like, character-specific oh, like, resistances. Attunement. It does require attunement. But 
but that's okay because you guys are about to do a long rest. So if you would like to quote unquote attune to an item during this long rest, you can. Yes, I would. All right, guys. Well, uh, like we said, I recorded this episode, but I could not put it live for some reason. I will talk to Adam about whatever's going on with our channel tomorrow. But in the meantime, it was good. Uh, for everyone who sees this recording next week on our channel, thank you for viewing. <laughs> All right, everybody. Good night. Go ahead and just mark the.